to stop Markowski. Maggie Tiemann, Timothy Daly, Carla Fountain, the officials, two teams that didn't make the NCAA tournament last year back in the big dance. Jazz Shelley played with an enormous level of swagger and confidence in that Big Ten tournament. They go to Markowski. That is what she does. Right now, when it matters most, over the last month, there's a beautiful steal from Logan Nisley. Freshman who's been playing very well all the way to the rim. But that's what the Cornhuskers want to do. They're going to force the Aggies to take tough outside shots. KK Jones on the floor. She was also on that team. There's KK Green. Corner three. It goes down. A very experienced veteran player. Down low, a quick answer. And Jazz Shelley able to leak to the rim off a nice feed. You cannot sleep here. Just an excellent pass from Potts to Shelley. To get back here. India Rogers able to drain a three. It was absolutely imperative that they got her back for the SEC tournament, now getting more and more comfortable. Coming Only location in the entire bracket with four teams that did not make the tournament last season. It's going to be resiliency location. Down low, Potts. Continue on in this dance. Parker with space. Gave her too much space. That's a great look when you see Barker hitting and connecting. A team that doesn't rely on the three, but are more than capable of hitting one when it's needed. Trying to get it back to her. Another good denial. Green goes down low. Barker, strong move. I was getting ready to say, I was waiting for Rogers to bully somebody because she's got the strength and size advantage. Oh, what a pull up at the opposite end from White. Quick answer for the grad student who has some NCAA tournament experience with Montana State. Plenty of time, whips it down low to Stewart, and she's able to get the shooter's roll, the senior from Minnesota. He has a lot of respect for this Nebraska team. Corner three, look, goes down for Logan Nisley. Continues her hot start. See, taking advantage of the mismatch here is Shelly and that baseline drift pass. Nisley, one of the best freshmen in the Big Ten this year. At 13 points in that Big Ten title loss to Iowa. How about a quick answer at the opposite end from MJ Johnson. Her Big Ten all freshman. As the task of guarding Barker, not easy. And that's why. And one coming up for Janiah Barker. You know, that's just the name of the game here. And who better to do it? Then Janaya Barker, and they got on the glass, so nothing less. She brought that right over to College Station, Texas. Nice step through from White, and how about that roll with the left hand? Very crafty, very nifty with the ball. I love it. The fake. Fake me out and roll it in. Markowski had an early four, and the fouls kind of turned her into a non factor for the time being. Lulabali played it back out. Rogers open three, couldn't cash in. Good look. Joni Taylor talked about white speed. Picks it out. That is why they were afraid of white speed because she can find players in transition. Nebraska just getting the shots they want. Change of pace with Darian White in the game and the freshman. Sahara Jones curls around Markowski. Extra pass. Williams. Will this one go down for it? Will. Needed momentum. This is really what the Aggies are going to need. Someone to be able to step up and hit outside shots. Williams' his first NCAA tournament game. Markowski, not her first NCAA tournament experience. Her first tournament. Barker shovels it out. Sahara Jones. Rounding off on that three. Five point game. It's felt so tight. That three will extend the Nebraska lead, though. Difference. Nebraska living by the three, and they are doing it because of Nisley. Corner three. Look who it is again. Logan Nisley continues her NCAA tournament debut party. It's been a to the inbounder. No one is even looking at Nisley, who has just been absolutely on fire. So you got to make the defense pay for their lap. And now up top, Moriarty. Another Husker three. I mean, same thing, different player. Everyone facing the inbounder. Six on the shot clock. Markowski calling for it. 
Koulibaly, Koulibaly read it all the way, though. Here comes Koulibaly. Got her own board and put it up for the second chance opportunity. She's red hot right now. Bit strong, Markowski, tenacious on the offensive glass. Goes right to the rim and puts it off the glass and down. Markowski, a, a walking double-double all season. That's starting to creep in. Nice spin move in the lane, and here's Koulibaly starting to discover her rhythm. Looking up to the team and just dreaming of playing, and she's here in the moment. I mean, so full circle. Living the dream. Into the lane goes KK Green earlier. Knocked off Eastern Washington to secure their ticket to the second round. Opposite away, Aisha Koulibaly. She can get it going in transition. Markowski searching. It's Coley trying to get on the scoreboard and does from long distance. Another Minnesota native on this Nebraska roster. Coley, another player who was on their last NCAA tournament team. How about that? Snaking to the rim. Koulibaly is doing all she can to keep Texas A&M in this game. Shelly dribbled it off her foot, corralled by Barker, up to Koulibaly. Coley's back, but Koulibaly, and one! In transition again, they get the stop here, Koulibaly. Just great, switching sides. We need Watch out for Ole Miss, remember Coach Yo and Ole Miss made a run last season. Yep, knocked off Stanford, upset Stanford in Palo Alto. There's a three there from Koulibaly, and look out. It's okay, a single cool digit ball, game. Yes. Oh, she got another steal. Charged them on a run that got them back within single digits. He's on the floor, five in black. Here's KK Green, quick pull up. But look who it is on the doorstep, Koulibaly. Second chance, more points for her. Disagreements over defensive positioning. Happens every now and then. Down low, that's been happening a lot. Koulibaly scoring. Green able to save it. Ten on the shot clock. Koulibaly's been red hot. Another, another three it is as well. Back to a seven-point game. Table, one of the best scores all season. Koulibaly's been their best scorer in this game. To MJ Johnson, passes in. All in that five-point game. We haven't seen her. She's not a go-to player offensively, but that's her job right there, to make Mark Housey's life miserable, but to be able to step up and hit a shot. Wow, they made that shot very tough for Alexis Markowski. Parker, step back. Oh, it was online. Another three for Texas A&M. Four-point game. Everybody looking to connect and get a piece from beyond the arc. And an Aggie team that doesn't make a ton of threes. Shelly, nice one-legged fade. Crafty from the Aussie. A lot of work to do, though, over the final five minutes to get to that point. Green opts to drive. That's what you wanted to see them do more of. Green went down, immediately grabbing her leg, though. Shot, have another look at it. Couldn't see her coming down on the angle there, but have another look at it. Definitely on the landing here. Yeah, landed right there. Off Guarding Markowski. That'll be a key matchup down the stretch. Markowski, she can hit those. Flared out. Barker the board. Now opposite away, Koulibaly is such a threat in transition. Two-point game. White calling for it, a player with a ton of experience, the grad student. They go down low to Markowski, their bread and butter. Couldn't finish, Potts there, blocked. Barker got a piece of that. Game against Iowa. Will they be able to close out? That's the player right there, yep. Got to get it to Markowski. 22 seconds left. Rodgers will take it for the lead. Off the mark, following up is Koulibaly. Tells that, and she was fouled with a chance to go to the line and give Texas A&M the lead. The contact, able to connect. It is Koulibaly, who has been unstoppable, giving the Aggies the lead. 1.7. It's Rodgers for the win. Off the mark, and Nebraska survives. The comeback bid from Texas A&M.